Guys, before we get into this video, huge news, Gloves Off the podcast is back in full effect. We shot a video last Wednesday live, and we always do them live. So if you haven't already, go and check it out. We'll link it down below in the description. Me and Bull are going to be going back live this upcoming Wednesday. So make sure you guys go check out the video, which I will link down below in the description. And go and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned as Gloves Off is back in full effect. So you already know what time it is, man. Let go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4k visual we are back with another banger to stop the week off with this sleep or keep wax your meat put it on repeat skeet skeet whatever you know you want to do at the end of the day the new sample ind sweater crew neck in black and gray is dropping this upcoming saturday follow us on twitter and instagram at smpl ind links will be down below in the description let's go ahead man and start the week off Lego. So for the past couple weeks now, we've been doing the dumbest comments of the week. We make some of the most nicest comments of the week. And make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a hashtag and I want you guys to use that hashtag on your Instagram post because what I'm going to do next Saturday, I mean my next Monday, I'm going to make sure to shout some of you guys out, your Instagrams, your Twitters, whatever it may be because we're going to make sure to give back to the people that show love as well as clap the people who like the disrespect. So normally we do the dumbest comment of the week. This time we're doing the dumbest tweet of the week. And I want you guys to watch till the end of this video because I'm gonna give you guys a hashtag that I want you guys to put in on your Instagram post or on your Twitter post. So next week when we do the next sleeper keep, I wanna shout you guys out. I wanna show some love to my supporters, to the people that use the hashtag. And we're gonna start doing that more and more as we go on. But the dumbest tweet of the week goes to this guy by the name of uh, No Loss. And he took an L and he actually deleted his account after this. I cannot find it. I wasn't even able to find the original tweet. If I can, I'll make sure to post it up. But basically he told me, Tony, you need to stop doing sleeper keeps. You're biting Bulls format. It's kind of biting your in his lane, to be honest. So stop doing sleeper keeps. So after that, it was time to clap. Because I've heard people say, you know, Tony, you're biting Bull. And majority of the time when they make that statement, they don't even know that I was the one that did it first. This happens to a lot of young, you know, a lot of smaller YouTubers out there that usually do stuff and the bigger YouTubers usually are the ones that take the credit or the origination for it. At the end of the day, Bull's little bro. I'm big bro, okay? Get that through your head, okay? I'm big bro at the end of the day. The reason why Bull got a beamer, because of me. Sleeper Keep did it way before Bull. I've been doing that shit since 2014. I had, I need, these, nigga, these were shit, like, it was like baby dreads back then. Weekly Stinger Rotation, same thing, was doing it before Bull. And then goes on and then Walmart challenges, all sorts of stuff. Uh, top 10 sneakers back to school. Bulls gotten just as much shit from me that I got from him. But at the end of the day, that's my brother. If I want to take from him, if you want to take from me, it don't matter. He don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And if you any guys, any other YouTubers out there that want to take something of me and use it, do it. And I don't need your credit. If you want to get credit, that's fine. Salute to you for that. But I'm not that guy that's going to go jump on, hey, man, you need to shout the originator out at least. You know, I'm not that type of guy at the end of the day. I do my vids, keep it moving. That's how we run. That's how we do our thug thizzle. Bull don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So why do you give a fuck? Dumbest comment of the week? Tweet of the week? Whatever. Yeah. Here's a slap for you. Quick question in between videos. Me and Nikki are actually looking for a bed for our new house. And we've heard different people, you know, different suggestions. tempur Nectar. Purple. Uh, Sealy, Sleep Number, um, Lowell. There's all sorts of different brands, but we want to get something that's great. We want to get that uh, Ground Zero or Zero Gravity feel, full effect. Let me know down below some of the best bed suggestions that you guys would recommend. In movie news, we got The Upside, which I have not seen that with Kevin Hart. Don't even really know much about it, but D-Money hit me up today asking if I wanted to see it, but was kind of busy, so I was unable to see it. So, I will hold off on that till next week. But the movie I would like to talk about is Replicas with Keanu Reeves. Dope movie overall to me. Something brand new, different. A new, fresh taste when it comes to movies. And uh, Keanu Reeves... You know, he's always on his John Wick shit at the end of the day. But it was definitely a dope movie and something different. Check it out if you get a chance. It's out now. Replicas. In Snicker news, guys, we have a ton of news. So, whatever, you know, take your time. Go get your popcorn. Get your drink. Get your coffee. Go take a shit. Piss. Whatever you got to do because we're going to have a lot to talk about. So, let's get straight into it. Let go. First up is the Nike Zoom Vapor Kyrie 5 that released. And now, this is a really dope cross trainer type of look to the Kyrie 5 that me myself I like and I don't know why I say me myself all the time I know that's incorrect grammar but fuck it we ball 
but I like the shoe overall some for a casual fit it is available now $160 something that will just be on the shelves I don't feel like it will really sell out in my opinion but I do like the look something like I said for the trainer for the casual look just another little nice sneaker that Nike dropped but for me personally I'm gonna pass on it but it's definitely a cool shoe and on the 15th, we have the Nike Kyrie 5 Just Do It was releasing, and these are retailing for $130. Features black, purple, a little bit of blue, and it's really dope. It has the Just Do It logo, the new, you know, the big Nike trademark, old school look that's being now re-put on shoes. I, myself, there you go, my, myself, me, myself, is incorrect once again. But me, I like the shoe. I like the shoe overall. I like the 5s. It's been definitely a hit, but I have yet to pick up a pair, and, you know, that's just... Really just because of everything, you know, like I stated before, I have so many sneakers that I got to just pick and choose what I want to cop. But what I will be doing soon is going back down to Linux Mall, hitting up the downtown area, and I may be just going ahead and picking up something nice like a pair of Kyrie's, something like that, just to do something different for once. And 130, you really can't go wrong with it. On the 15th, Nike is dropping the Panda Pigeon, and this is on Nike sneakers app. It's officially there. That All the information is there. Now, whether it's going to be a drawing or just a straight up drop, I don't know, but me... I would suggest that it may be a drawing, and I just said to me myself, I almost said it, I caught myself, but it may be a drawing of that, and I'm looking forward to trying to get my hands on that shoe, if not, the sample look, you're trying to take a little jabs at the sample, a lot of you guys have been tweeting me about the sample situation, we're going to keep our mouths quiet, because at the end of the day, we just going to keep pushing, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it is a little funny that they're doing that, it's, it's a little funny, but Nike's always had the sample tag on the inside of the shoes for their actual real sample, so... We'll keep it really low-key. We're not going to get mad about it, but the retail on that is $100, and I do like the shoe, so if I can get my hands on it, I'll grab it. I got the black pigeons. I'll try to get my hands on the panda pigeons if I can. We have a pair of LeBron 3s dropping on the 16th. The retail on these are going for $175 in white and navy, a very basic white and navy. Looks good to me. Looks real nice. Don't get me wrong. Very similar to that of what is dropping a little later, you know, throughout next month as well. And it seems like we haven't, we're getting a good amount of navy shoes popping up here and there. It all started with those sixes last year. Now we got some of these navies. We even got some more like UNC navy type of shoes dropping into February as well. That we'll talk about in a little bit, you know, a little bit later. We'll just hold off on it a little bit. But CDs are released, most likely sitting on shelves, but something good if you are a LeBron fan and you like the throwbacks and the retros that are popping up. On the 17th, there has been stated that the Nike Epic Flynet React 2 will be releasing. No retail price point right now. I do my, you know, I, I, I own a pair of Nike Reacts and I really like, and they're Flynets as well, the originals. I like those a lot. They're very comfortable. There was a shoe that, you know, once I got it, I wore it a lot and I kept wearing it and wearing it. There's a shoe that I always have that I like kind of just wear all the time. Right now, it's been the black Yeezy 500s. I don't know why, maybe just because they're just like in reach, but that React, the black with the blue strip was a shoe that I was wearing all the time. And I probably need to pull them out more than, you know, use them for running. They're great to run in, great to go to the gym in. And the price was like, what, 120, 130, really good price point for that shoe. I want to say that maybe they were 150. I, I can't recall, but they weren't that expensive. I just remember getting them and they weren't really that expensive, but they are good looking and they feel great on feet and the React material. Great, great thing, Nike. Great thing. But look forward to seeing these more and more. Uh, the React, you know, twos. I I'm liking them a lot. So I may go pick up another pair. This one got a lot of bit of gradient look and a lot of mixture. A little bit more on the women's colorway, but I probably can still get jiggy with it. It's a little, little, little 70s look to it. You know, a little Vice City look to it. Also on the 17th, the off-white Nike Air Max is dropping. Air Max 90 is dropping in black and in, in the, what's this called, Desert Ore. Now, I checked on the sneakers app, uh, no no information yet. A lot of stores, it's been basically, this is being hinted at that. It's not like, it's there's no certification, there's no definite like stamp, but like all the stores are preparing and basically saying that this shoe is supposed to be dropping this week, which, so I'm, I'm just, get your hands ready. This is basically not confirmed, but it is rumored, so it will probably be somewhat like of a quick strike. If it does solidify itself throughout the week on a Wednesday or something, I will try my best to drop a video and get you guys all on deck. But this may be something that the stores drop first and then Nike sneakers app drops later because that's been happening a lot with these off-whites. It's like Nike doesn't, they, they wait later and drop it. So stay tuned for that. Retail will be 160. I definitely want to get that Desert Ore, but we'll just have to wait and see and see what Nike's doing because they're weird. They're weird. 
Also on the 17th, we have the Nike Element React 87, and these are very similar to that, the same colorway of the Undercover collaboration that dropped last year that I talked about these last week as well. These are dropping for $160. I'm, you know, I'm kind of done with that shoe right now at least because I got a pair and it's very similar to that colorway, but I'm looking forward to seeing what else they do with this shoe overall, like the next shoe I will be talking about next. So yeah, but definitely, if you haven't got yourself a pair of them, with the see-through look, two different colorways are dropping. Now, and whether or not it's going to be like a Paris exclusive, because one of them is called the Paris. Let, let's just look real quick. So, a quick correction. These are dropping, I believe, like in Europe at an earlier date, but they're dropping in America on the 29th. So, these two colorways you see, these are actually going to be going to be pushed back. These are dropping on the Sneakers app on the 29th. That's what the date is stated so far on Nike Sneaker app. So, I'm trying to make sure I got every date just correct because some of these shoes they'll you know be released Europe a little earlier than normal but this shoe correction is being released on the 29th and like I stated there will be newer version of this react that's dropping and basically the first one I've seen so far is the Nike react element 55 now this one is retailing at $130 has yet to be you know stated on the Nike sneaker app but at a few stores that we you know releasing this shoe like a few is one of the stores and they have two different colorways they're, they're very similar to the 87s, but they seem like they're slightly like cheaper. That, that's the reason why the price point is what it is. But they are something nice. It's like a Roshi run in a React having, you know, one, one nice stand. That's just the best way to put it. But overall, I like the shoe a lot. Look forward to it. Something good if you, you know, trying to find a budget sneaker for $130 or something. It's a good shoe, but for me, I'm going to pass on it, of course. So now, guys, this is somewhat of a breaking news. This is real recent. This shoe was originally supposed to be releasing on the 2nd of February. Now, it still has not been confirmed on Nike Sneaker App, but apparently, the Black History, uh, Black History Month 2s are releasing on the 18th. That is this upcoming Friday. Now, I've asked Soul Play, hey, did you guys get them in? Are you getting them in yet? They said, like, they don't really know. Because this shoe was originally supposed to be releasing them, but now they're pushing it forward to the 18th. There has not been a confirmation, but it's still being put by a lot of different stores, a lot of different websites. Sneaker News, Sneaker Bar Troy said it, and I believe also Soul Collector has all stated this date of January 18th. So we will have to wait and see. It's a really nice shoe overall, 4-2, and it's Black History Month. I like the way they went with it, that little Black Panther type of vibe. So we'll have to wait and see, guys. Um... You know, that's the best way to put it. Stay tuned. Like I said, I may be doing one of these videos on Wednesday just to get everything up to date because there's a lot of shit going on. And yeah, we got to talk about it. And then on the 19th, we have the Jordan 4 Laser. Now that's releasing the day after on Saturday. And I like the shoe overall. It may be something I might just get my hands on, do a quick review, but then later on sell it. I don't know. I will try to get my hands on this for a review for you guys though. Because it is somewhat something cool, but I know that everybody is really waiting on what's coming out next week, and that is the fives. But I still have my old lasers, and I do enjoy them. I do like them having in my collection, so I would love to hear down below if you guys are going after those fours or not. Please let me know down below if that's what you're going for, because I want to know who's all for it or if we're waiting for those fives next week. And then on the 18th, we have the Nike Air Max 2 Lite, which is set to release in a newer colorway. And this is a blue lagoon and white. I like the original first pair that we saw last week, and I like this pair too. This is a shoe too as well that if I went to Linux and went to City Gear and it's just sitting on the rack, I might pull it. If I need to, you know, want to pick up some, do a little quick pickup video, show you guys what's going down and I see it, I might grab it. It's not something that I would, you know, grab online. I would go to the store and get it. If it was that wish, I might pick it up. That's just, that's just the vibes I get from certain shoes. But if it's online, I'll pass. I'll pass. But I like it overall. Definitely thumbs up. Then we have the Nike Air Foam Posit in a navy and gum bottom, 230 price point. Foams, they're still just trying to find a place in everybody's heart. They're the lost son. They're the lost, you know, the, the, the ugly duckling right now. And they're still trying to find a way back into our hearts. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know. We, we, we've seen the, the OG colorways drop. Uh, we still wasn't like a fan of it, and I was not really, you know, 95 when they, with 95, 96 when they originally released, I believe. I was not hip to the price point back then, but people said that the price point has always been the same. I could be wrong. I feel like the price point was 170 back then. They've always been expensive, not always the same. But any OG heads out there, please feel free to comment down below 
and let me know what was the original price point of the foams but maybe that's one of the things that we need is just the price drop and i don't think we're gonna get that anytime soon but yeah that's just, I, need, I just need to state that because i love foams but i don't love the price and it is what it is and then last but not least we have the adidas nmd r1 chinese new year adidas i love you guys i love you guys so much but once again what are we doing here chinese new year's in the nmd r1 yeah super pass um yeah super pass i got a pair of nmds from champs and i loved them i loved everything about them so i'm not knocking the nmd r1 but i do feel like for something like a chinese new year we need a newer model byw maybe some something like why then like no i'm sorry adidas no sorry in leaks news, we have tons of news that we're going to talk about. Some updated images on the Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. We have new shoes that are releasing for All-Star Weekend. So let's get straight into it. Smack that ass and let go. Ah! First things first, each and every week we get more and more pictures on these Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. And one that I've seen, it is confirmed now that this is like a very soft suede or new buck material that's on the brown. Mixed with the white leather or sail leather and a big nike you know check that's going on seems like a little bit bigger than your normal jordan one nike check and as this shoe is getting closer and closer i am starting to gravitate more and more to it call me a hype beast i don't give a fizzog i'm copping them if i can at the end of the day but i do like it the backwardness still kind of on it but i'm growing i'm growing on it but i am definitely loving those materials i gotta give a thumbs up for that that compared to all leather i like that new book i like that suede i'm loving it the PG3 NASA has a release date of January 26th and the retail is 120 and I love the PG. I still got my shining PG1s. Was not really a fan of the PG 2.5, a fan of the 2. Like the 1s more, but I think that the 3 may compete with that 1. And let me know how you guys feel about that down below. I, are you guys agreeing with me? The PG1 was definitely better than the PG2, right? I'm listening. Okay, yeah. PG1 was better than the PG2. Better than the 2.5 the was like, why? Why are we doing that? Just give us a three. But now I understand. Take your time. You made a great looking three. And I love this shoe. The price point is great as always. That three and one, let me know. Which one wins? I need to see them in hand. But them threes looking good. And that NASA vibe. Nike, bring back all-star NASA vibes. That might You might need to do that for the basketball all-star weekend. You might need to do that. Next up, we have release date February 9th of the Jordan 9 UNC, which will be during, you know, before the weekend of All-Star Weekend, which is being hosted in Charlotte. And I want to remember now, like, I remembered it, like, it was great. It was so, you know, phenomenal when last year when we were in All-Star Weekend at the game, uh, when they did, you know, they pulled out who was going to host the next year's uh, All-Star Weekend, Michael Jordan came out, and it was just crazy. It was, it was crazy. So, be expecting a lot of secrets, a lot of pop-ups, a lot of stuff that's going to be happening this February, because Jordan is not going to let this thing this be something normal some crazy stuff's gonna be going on and and hopefully hopefully tony d can find his way in and we can swarm in and get our feet wet and uh you know maneuver through the streets because that's what we got to do on the 21st supposedly releasing is the lebron 16 equality now this is another shoe that is coming on the 16th but i have not seen it on nike at all so i would i would say kind of be alert a little bit because that shoe the equality thing dropped in New Orleans during All-Star Weekend. So that was last, that was two years ago in February. Now the equality, I don't think the equality dropped though last year during All-Star Weekend. Cause I remember the equality dropping in a white and a black and LeBron wearing it. So that's kind of iffy, but it does usually drop during the early years of the month, you know, early um, months of the year. So be on the lookout. Supposedly those sneaker news had this date as the 21st, $175. So be on the lookout. But for me, I liked the 15s way more than these 16s, but I love the meaning, so I'm not complaining. Next up, we have actually on Nike right now. Let me confirm this date too, just to make sure. On the 22nd of January, we have the Kobe Bryant Pro Tro dropping of the 81 points. The shoe he was wearing when he dropped 81 points on the Mavs. Oh, wait, my bad, not the Mavs. No, it was not on the Mavs. That was whoo, reverse. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Yeah, nah, the reason why I said the Mavericks is one time that Kobe played against the Mavs and he had more points 
he had more points than the whole Mavericks team had points. And that's why I, my brain farted. Sorry. But Toronto Raptors, he's wearing the shoe with 81 points. I have the first pair of the Pro Trolls. Uh, I believe there's like the black and maize. I'm definitely going to check my hands on that one. I'm loving the one Pro Tro, so I'm all for it. We'll see. 175. Don't, hey, Nike, take the money and run with it. I'm going to complain. 21st, you got me. You got me. We also have on the 24th releasing is that Nike Air Max 270 SP SOE that I was talking about. They're the three different colorways. They look super dope. 180. I'm going to take, you could take the money again, Nike. This hit me up later. I'm going broke and I'm trying to buy a house and you guys are taking my money. Stop with the shit, Nike, because I'm getting pissed off. All right, never mind. Let's keep it moving. But I definitely like that shoe and we talked about it last week. And then we also have the Jordan 5 Laney SP, JSP Laney that I'm definitely going to get my hands on. They're all blue. Even though I'm not a Golden State Warriors fan, I'm still going to jump the, and jump the gun and get it. 190 is the price point. Super dope shoe. Super dope. I've used it one time in this video. Hopefully not that many. But uh, definitely going to get that ASAP Rocky. A release date has been scheduled for the Jordan 33 Travis Scott, which is on January 27th. So stay tuned for that as well. A lot of people are liking it. Some people are not. I like it overall. I still haven't copped the 33, so I don't want to be a hype beast with it and pick it up because now I like it more, but I'm going to just wait. I'll, I'll probably pass on that, but I do like the shoe. I do like the 33. I've been like the 33, but I just haven't copped the 33. And last but not least, we have the official images of the Jordan Apex Utility. Now, this shoe is something crazy. It's crazy. It features an upper sheath of that same see-through see you know, material we've been seeing on very, various different shoes like the Nike Element React. And underneath, it seems to appear like it's a Jordan 1 fly knit. So it has a lot of fly knit material with the upper sheath, zippers, all sorts of crazy shit going on. No release date yet, but official images are released, so maybe it's coming in the near future. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe All-Star Weekend. Like I said, Jordan does a lot of sneaky stuff. <clears throat> oh, sorry. During that time. But I like the shoe. It looks cool. It uh, had, like I said, it looks like a Jordan 1 fly knit wrapped up in a fucking trash bag, ready to go so you can run outside and not have to worry about them getting wet. And you guys probably thought I was going to talk about some animal nut sex, but we're going to hold that off. For tomorrow so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new the hashtag is hashtag two wild with the number crew two wild crew with a c not a q we ain't on the kai shit kai you got your crew we got our crew the two wild crew if you use it if you're posting anything on twitter if you're posting anything on ig use the hashtag two wild crew and next week i will feature some of you guys on there and i love you guys it's your boy, 22 I hope my lips were not chat because, man, my lips got checked when the season changes. Them shits look like crazy. But uh, I need to put some CarMax on it. And, yeah, I love you guys. It's your boy, 22 Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. See you guys next week, man. Peace.